Okay. And today's session, we are going to see a bar graph explanation. So how to do a bar graph. So here in a bar graph, we do have the title as average daily sales by number of servings. So let's go, what is the condition? Where is the condition? When is the condition? So this is the particular picture that we are going to analyze. It's a bar graph. It comes under classical academic task one. The other three are line graph, pie chart, and table. So here I do have bar graph and bar graph with figure comparison. Now I am assessing whether it is a static data or movement data, whether it's one time frame or we are comparing time frames, different time frames. I don't find any different time frames here. So I can say this is a static data. So I am uh, looking at the time frames, but no time frames are there. But if I look closer, I can see that there is a time comparison here that exactly it is. It, it is summer and winter. So even though we don't have any years like 1960 or 1970, I do have a time comparison here, a summer time compared to winter time. When though uh, there is no specific time, so this happens every year in summer and in winter. So there is a comparison of time frames here. So that is summer and winter, but it happens every year. So I have to use simple present tense. So, so the tense is simple present. So it's a bar graph. I've analyzed whether it's a static or moving data. So we don't have time frames one after another. Okay, so I thought it was a static data. Yes, it is a static data, but you know, uh, you can see that there are two time frames here that summer and winter. So it's a comparison between summer and winter. So two time frames are there, but it happens every year. Every year we'll be having summer, every year we'll be having winter. So this is uh, an analysis like that. So we have we don't have a past time frame. So we go with simple present tense here. The tense is simple present here. Now it's a bar graph. The tense we have to use is present simple or simple present, okay? Now I have to go with what exactly the bar graph shows. It is a typical daily sales of selected food items. Okay, so how is it measured? It is measured per servings, number of servings sold. And it is measured in, if it is 90, it's 90 million. So that's the thing here. If it is 90, it is 90 million. It's measured in number of servings, 90 million, 80 million, 70 million, like that. So, and uh, where it happens at cafe, okay? So when it happens, it happens in season. So it's summer and winter, summer is the blue one, winter is the red one, okay? And what are the food items? We have hot coffee, cold coffee, tea, green tea. So I have the four food items too here. So my basic task analysis is done. So my preliminary task analysis is over. In the preliminary task analysis, I've got some information. Vital information is collected. Now I am going into a detailed analysis of the chart. So I'm going with the detailed analysis of the chart. Here I'm going ahead with 
number one, which is the maximum sales. So which product has the maximum sales? The product number one, that's hard coffee. It has the maximum number of sales. It's 80 million in summer. So it is in summer, I can say that hard coffee is the maximum sold item. And in winter, I can say it's here, green tea. It's in winter, I can see the highest is green tea. So analysis number one, the preliminary analysis is done after that I'm going with detail analysis. So I have to select and report the main features. So selecting and reporting the main features, I'm going to select the main features. Number one is this thing. Number two is this thing. What's number one? Number one shows the maximum sales of hot coffee. So the maximum sales of the beverages, of the food items happened in case of coffee when 80 million servings of this is sold. Every summer, 80 million, that's the average daily sales of the hot coffee. Every year, I can say the average daily sales of green tea is 60 million. Okay, so that's the thing here. Now I have to say uh, the second thing here, the second main factor here. So that is the difference between these two. So we do have the first popular in summer. I am in summer, this is number one. In summer, green tea is number two. So the difference between these two are almost 5 million. So this is an important data. How it becomes an important data is because that the difference between this point and this point in winter, the sale of green tea is about 50 million. And in winter, the sale of hot coffee is around uh, just around 4 million less than uh, the green tea sales. Okay, so we can see some source of reciprocality there. Uh, here it is the hot coffee, it's uh, the higher, 5 million sales higher. There it is the green tea, the higher sales, it is around 4 million there. So you can say these two things as a second particular information, vital information. Now I can say that these two things, so I have compared this thing to this thing. So I'm going ahead with the rest here, or how do I compare these things? So I can see this thing and this thing as some sort of similarity here. And the similarity is the difference between the sales here, it's 40 million. So here also it is 40 million, here also it is 40 million. So 40 million is the difference between uh, the sale of cold coffee in winter and the sale of cold coffee in summer. The sale of tea in summer is 40 million higher than the sale of tea in winter. So this is a similarity I can see between these two, cold coffee and tea is related in case of disparities. Now I have to say which one has the highest here. Yeah, the higher rate of sales goes to tall coffee and the least sale uh, in the chart, we can say it has tea. Tea has the least sales. So, and uh, in winter, the sale of tea is uh, the minimum here. It's around 20 million servings in winter. So this is what the information, this is what the uh, 
uh, data, we have analyzed the data in detail. And now I have to decide what to compare. So I have to compare the most prominent thing first and then to the least form for prominent ones. So I go with the highest first and then come to the list. From highest to the list, this is the order that which I'm going to adapt here, adopt here. So let's see what we can do here. Now, uh, in order to frame uh, the introduction, I have to see the, uh, the question again, because the question, in, in the question, it's almost there. There's a hint to say what we have to do there in the introduction. What is the picture and what it is about? What is the picture? The picture is a bar graph. What is it about? It's about the average daily sales of selected food items at cafe by season. But you cannot reproduce this thing as it is written. So you need to rephrase that uh, in the introduction. So the introduction should say what's the picture and what's it about. So let's say what, how can we write the introduction? The fluctuations in the day in the average daily sale of beverages at cafe in winter when compared to summer are depicted in the given bar graph. Okay, so I can say fluctuations uh, are in the average daily sale. So in the average, the fluctuation, the variations in <coughs> the average daily sale. So I just cancel off one. Uh, particular dot here, so I don't need this fluctuation. I don't need this fluctuations in the average daily sales of beverages at cafe in winter when compared winter when compared to summer are depicted in the given bar graph. So what is depicted in the given bar graph? It is the fluctuations in the average daily sale of beverages in a cafe, at cafe. So this is what we are going to discuss here. And now, uh, after the introduction, after saying what's a picture, what's a board in, 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 in our own words, in a formal word, now we are moving to the second part, the overview. At a glance, the sales are recorded more in summer than in winter with hot coffee and green tea as the favorites. So I can say at a glance, if you see, open your eyes, just you can see at a glance, the sales are recorded more in summer without any difficulty. When you open your eyes, you can see that without any difficulty, I can say that's the word phrase I use at a glance. The sales are recorded more in summer. Yes, it is more in summer. Yes, yes, yes. Than in winter. With hot coffee, yes, and green tea, as the favorite. So these are the most sold beverages in the cafe. Now, the daily sales is higher for these two things. Now I am going ahead with the first paragraph. As per the chart, when hot cafe, hot cafe has the highest number of uh, sales in summer, higher sales in summer, it's green tea in winter. So what I do is that I just paste it here for some time, It'll be easier for you. So I've said, as for the chart, yes, as the chart shows, when hot coffee has the highest sales in summer, yes, this is the highest sales in summer. It's green tea in winter. Yes, it's green tea in winter. The highest sales in winter is green tea. The highest sales in summer is hot coffee. So we have seen that, both the cases we have seen. The sale of the former, the former means hot coffee, the sale of former, in the sense hot coffee, hits around 80 million servings. So you can say 80 million servings during the summer. Yes, it's in the summer, it's, it's around 80 million servings. Yes, it is serving sold. 
which is almost 5 million more than the latter. So the difference between these two are 5 million. So 5 million are the 5 million is the difference between these two. Okay, that's it. So, however, in winter, when 50 million savings servings of green tea are sold, hot coffee sales falls behind by approximately 4 million. So, in winter, when 50 million servings of green tea are sold, you can say 50 million servings of green tea are sold. Hot coffee sales falls behind by approximately 4 million. So 4 million. So the difference between this point and this point, yes, this point and this point is around 4 million. It's not nearly 5 million, it's about 4 million there. So we have said, yes, yes. So these data is there in the first paragraph, but it is logically arranged uh, from highest to the lowest. That's the order there. How many sentences you have there? Number one, number two, number three. Three sentences. We have completed the matter there. Yes, there is a difference of 40 million servings between the summer and winter sales of both coffee and tea. You can see there is a difference between 40 million servings. A 40 million servings is the difference between the sale of cold coffee and tea in summer and winter. So it, in case of cold coffee, the difference is 40 million. And in case of tea, it's also 40 million there. In summer, around 70 million servings of cold coffee are sold. Yes, around 70 million are sold. The tea sales fall short by 10 million. Yes, it is falling short by 10 million. And this happens in summer, okay? And Tea is the least salt beverage in both seasons, in both the season, in uh, whether it is summer, whether it is winter, tea is the least sold product there. And in winter, its sales hits a low of just 20 million servings. So in winter, it hits to a low of very, very low of 20 million servings there. So this is what we can see in the bar chart from the very beginning till the end. So I just can see. So from the very beginning, I can see it's a 161 word frame. The total word count is 161, it's ideal. So you have written at least 150 words. You have a clear cut introduction. You have a clear cut overview. And we do have two paragraphs with uh, two of the data, two data there and two data here. So it is equal. So we have maintained a balance between these things. Okay, so I hope you have understood this thing from the very beginning till the end. Thank you.